dragons! Hey, did you ever want to know how the Triwizard Dragons actually looked like from the books? Hey, let's go find out! Hey everybody, it's Dragonfly Sarah, and we're building JKR's Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Minecraft. Today, we're going to take a look at the dragon enclosure from the first task of the Triwizard Tournament that's from Book 4, Goblet of Fire. Let's head on into the time lapse. Our first dragon to be modified is the Swedish Short, short Snout. Um, it was selected by Cedric Diggory during the Triwizard Tournament, and it is described as being silvery blue. Um, with long pointed horns. Up in the corner you'll see an image of the original dragon used for this. I lost some of the uh, replay files. Sorry about that. Next up we have the Welsh Green. This dragon chosen by Flor Delacour is described as being the smallest of the dragons. It also has smooth green scales. Our third selection is the Chinese Fireball selected by Victor Crumb. It is red with gold spikes in a fringe around its face. Um, in the video you'll see that I attempted to use armor stands holding blaze rods, but they were the scale was just completely wrong, so I switched to using glowstone. Okay, the last one of the four dragons to build is the Hungarian Horntail. Now, the original dragon was originally recolored to be the Swedish short snout, but I thought it worked out much better than for the Hungarian Horntail, which is described as black and lizard-like. Um, it also has bronze spikes along the tail, and as we all know, this was the one chosen by Harry Potter in the first half of the Triwizard Tournament. Now that the dragons are done, we need to actually edit the forest a little bit so we can put the pavilion in. These dragons are really huge, and um, I needed a flat surface to work in for the dragon enclosure. The final enclosures ended up being 70 by 70 meters long. Um, I figured I needed uh, 20 meters more than the biggest dragon, which was 50 meters long. Uh, all of them are uh, between 16 and 30 meters tall, which is a little off scale, but eh. What are you going to do, the dragons? I would like to note that several of the edits were actually done with MC edit, so off screen. So oftentimes you'll be staring at the screen and a huge chunk of land will, let's say, disappear or appear. Again, I will do an MC edit tutorial if you would like it um, when we get to the um, lake in the next series, um, particularly with the height maps. Enjoy a little bit of music because uh, this terraforming took me four sessions.
After I had the enclosures in, I put the stands in. Um, I originally put them in to be the length of two of the enclosures, the middle enclosures, to give everyone sort of a centered view. And then I took the very middle out and did a tall podium up for the judges stand. And of course I draped their seats in gold. I decided after walking away and coming back that one layer of stands wasn't good enough because I really needed to have hundreds of hundreds of faces and there was no way I was actually going to do 10,000 faces, but um, I could at least do a couple thousand. And so I layered the stands. The very last thing that I did was turning around and putting supports in so that the stands weren't actually suspended in midair. While this would work for both Minecraft and, in theory, a wizarding world, it just doesn't seem very realistic and it's not very pleasing to the eye. During that little break I was talking about in the middle of the stands, I put fences around the enclosures. Now the fences are meant to keep humans from stumbling into the dragons, they're not meant to keep the dragons in. The dragons should have been um, chained up, but I couldn't see how to do that in a very um, aesthetic manner, so it was left out. Um, however, you do get a really good view of the dragons themselves um, as I fly over putting this fence in. After I have the stands done, the very next thing is I put the nests in, because remember that these dragons are nesting mothers. Of course, I go in order. So the first one is the Swedish short snort snout, and none of the references that I could find gave me a color for her egg, so I just guessed, and I thought these sort of matched the silvery blue. Next up is the Welsh green, and while I couldn't use any of my normal sources because I couldn't find information on Pottermore or Lexicon, a resource called Wikibooks stated that they were brown with green spots figured that worked for me. Pottermore actually states that the Chinese fireballs eggs are red with gold specks. In fact, the shells of those eggs are very highly prized by Chinese wizards. Last up, we know from the books that the Hungarian horntail eggs are a concrete gray color. What better than a concrete gray egg custom head? Okay, so segue, I had to come back and change the wings on the Chinese fireball in order to get rid of this persistent lighting error I was getting on the ground beneath his wing. Uh, spoiler alert, it didn't work. So now that the enclosure is done, I move on to the tents out front. We know that there are two of them. The first one is the champion's tent. And I originally tried to do the champion's tent by building a box and then putting a tent-like roof on it. Epic fail. So I watched a couple of videos on YouTube and looked at some pictures of some tents and came up with this second design, which I think works much better. Um, no ocelots were actually permanently injured in the making of this video. I caught all of them and turned them into tent leads. That's not hurting. Okay. The med tent, uh, we just know that it's outside the enclosure, it faces the enclosure entrance, and it has some beds and curtains in it. Um, I used purple for it, because, you know, standard wizarding color, and I went ahead and put the red cross on it to make it obvious to us muggles as a, a medical tent. I originally put the beds in, but didn't put the uh, curtains in because I couldn't think how to do it. But I was able to go back in at a later time and add the curtains as banners on barrier blocks. It's not a perfect solution, but hey, it sort of works. Here we have a flyover of the completed dragon enclosure from the first task of the Triwizard Tournament. I hope y'all enjoyed my interpretations. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and check me out on planetminecraft.com. See y'all next time.